was speaking one night up in Michigan at a country club. Now, you go to some town where you have never been before, and you try to find the country club after dark. <laughs> to start with, the country club is not located downtown. And there are no signs downtown show you how to get out to the country club. And convenience store clerks not only do not know where the country club is, <laughs> they do not care where the country club is. I walk in this convenience store, Adrian, Michigan, old boy standing behind the counter. I say, hey, Bubba, where's the country club? He said, look in the cooler next to the old Milwaukee. <laughs> When I was growing up, the woods were right behind our house. So my neighborhood friends and I went into the woods often to hike, play army, or to simply catch crawdads in the creek. In the summertime, we even occasionally pitched a tent and camped for a few days by the creek. One time, when I was around 12 years old, Alan, my neighbor, and I got lost in the woods. It was a Sunday afternoon, so we decided to go for a hike, and somehow we got lost. Both of us knew the woods pretty well, so we were quite perplexed as to how we managed to get lost. When you're lost in the woods, about the only thing you can do is just keep walking and hope that you eventually find your way out of the woods before dark. So that's what we did. As we walked along, we saw a clearing up ahead in the distance. So we quickly headed in that direction, only to discover that the clearing was a golf course. We then realized that we were at the country club. Neither of us had ever been to the country club but we knew about where it was located. So we decided to walk home from the country club by taking the road instead of going back through the woods. The only problem with that plan was that we only thought we knew the location of the country club. We thought that it was only a couple of miles to our house if we walked home by taking the road, but it wasn't a couple of miles. It was six and a half miles from my house to the country club, as a crow would fly over the woods, is only about one and a half miles. We thought that the road going out of the country club came out on Tarrant Road, and thus we thought that it would be an easy walk home. Instead, the road out of the country club led to Newcastle Road. You may be wondering why we didn't just go into the clubhouse and call our parents and say, we got lost in the woods and ended up at the country club. Please come and pick us up, which is what we should have done. But remember, we thought we were only a couple of miles from home and therefore thought we had enough daylight to make it home before dark. So we started walking down the road. As we came out of the Country Club Road, we soon realized that we were not on Tarrant Road, but on Newcastle Road instead. Newcastle was an African-American community where no white people lived. As we walked along the road, people saw us and obviously thought to themselves, what in the world are you two boys doing walking along Newcastle Road? And we were thinking the very same thing, when suddenly we heard someone shout, Hey, Stanley, what are you doing in my neighborhood? Are you lost? Upon hearing my name, I looked over at the row of houses across the railroad tracks, and saw that it was Philip Johnson who had called my name. Philip was one of the African-American boys in my class who had been bused to my school when desegregation occurred in the county school system the year before. Here was another opportunity for us, because I should have said, Yes, Philip, we're lost. Can I come into your house and call my parents to come get us? But unfortunately, that's not what we did. We just kept walking. When we finally got to Tarrant Road, we decided to turn right into a neighborhood road 
that led back to the woods and toward my house because we knew that this route through the woods would be a shortcut home. After all, sunlight was beginning to fade and we knew we would not have enough time to make it home before dark if we kept walking on the road. Eventually, we came out of the woods just before dark and met our fathers who had flashlights in their hands because they were getting ready to head into the woods to come search for us. They were not angry, but very worried about us and thus relieved that we were back home safe and sound. What is the point of this story? For me, it is simply this. I felt very lost as we walked along Newcastle Road until Philip Johnson called out my name. And from that moment on, I was no longer walking through an unknown neighborhood. I was walking through Philip Johnson's neighborhood, and that made all the difference. One definition of community says that it is a feeling of fellowship with others as a result of sharing common attitudes, interests, and goals. To this definition, I would add that community is a place where you feel safe because people know you by name. Thanks for listening, my friend.